Hey, it's Mike from BlindsOnline.com. Uh, I'd like to show you guys how to install your brand new uh, room darkening uh, roller shade that you've ordered from us. Um, once you've unpacked the shade from the box, it should look a little something like this. And you should have uh, your chain um, taped up. Uh, just undo the chain, but leave the strap that's on the shade itself uh, for, for later. Okay, don't take that off until the shade is installed. So once you have your shade uh, unraveled, just put the shade down for a moment. I'd like you to grab the mounting hardware that we sent along with the shade. The mounting hardware is going to look a little something like this. And these are universal brackets that we've enclosed. Universal meaning that they can be used either as an inside mount, outside mount, ceiling mount, uh, and they're also no left or right side brackets. You can put either one on either side. So if they look a little something like this, you know you've got the right brackets. Okay. So once you have your brackets in place, um, I'd like to show you first how we would install these brackets if you had ordered your shade as an outside mount. Now if you ordered them as an outside mount, you can simply put, put the bracket right up onto the window molding just like that. Okay. And pre-drill the two holes. You have a hole on top, hole on the bottom. Uh, Pre-drill those holes so that when you set the screws in, you don't split and crack the moldings. All right, I'm going to show you how to insert the shade in a little while, but for now, let's just talk about the bracket system. If you want to mount up above the molding, do the exact same thing, but be sure and order the optional spacer block that goes behind the bracket so that we push the bracket far enough away from the wall so that when you operate your shade, it's not interfering with the window molding. Okay, now that's for an outside now. If you'd like to order, uh, install the bracket as a ceiling mount, take the bracket, shift it around, mount it directly up into the ceiling or into the top of a window frame. The bracket can also be used as uh, a ceiling mount. Now, what we're going to do right now is we're going to install the shade as an inside mount. Inside mount meaning inside the window frame. Okay, so we're going to take our mounting bracket, we're going to face it so that the L portion of the bracket is facing toward the window. And if you have a screw gun handy, that's great. It'll make things move along a little bit, little bit quicker. But if not, you can always put the screws in by hand. Take the bracket, put it up against the side of the window frame, and push it all the way up to the top. Now, if your shade is a very long shade and the roller's a little bit thicker, you might have to drop this down a little bit. Okay, you'll have to fiddle with that um, on installation. That's why we've uh, slotted the bottom bracket. You know, you can always move it up or down just a bit. Uh, but for now, we're going to mount this flush to the top of the frame. We're going to put our first screw in the top, and we're going to put our bottom screw in the bottom. Okay, now that bracket's considered in place. Now, I've done the exact same thing for the right side bracket. Okay, I have that one already mounted just to keep things moving along. So we have our two brackets in place. We're going to grab the shade and we're going to bring the shade up to the window. Now here's what I'd like you to do. This is the chain side or the clutch side. Okay, we'd like to install first. And if you notice, the clutch has uh, two little uh, vertical nubs sticking off the side. We're going to place those vertical nubs into the vertical slots of the mounting bracket, just like so. I'd like you to push down on a little bit. What that'll do is it'll seat the uh, clutch into the bracket so that it's not going to shift around or fall out. And then on the opposite side, there's a pin. There's a spring-loaded pin. And if you notice, I'm taking a flathead screwdriver and just pushing that pin in, pushing the pin into the center hole of the opposite bracket. Okay, so I release the pin. It seated itself in the hole, and guess what? Your shade is mounted. Now, there are a couple of other things that we'd like to do before we finish. One would be to remove this piece of paper so that we can bring the shade down. And you can see it says, do not remove this final wrapping until after the shade is installed. Well, I consider this now installed. So I'm going to remove that piece of paper. Okay. Um, at that point, we can lower the shade a bit um, just by pulling on one side of the chain. Now this particular shade is in uh, room darkening white, okay, it has a scallop style of number 202 and it also has the alabaster gold trim on it, okay. Uh, the factory has also put a hole in the shade, pre-drilled this hole for us because in this particular case we ordered the optional uh, window pull and that window pull would get installed last onto the shade. It comes along with a little screw that looks like so. We're going to push the screw through be from behind the fabric. Okay, there's a little hole there. When the screw head pops through, we're just going to simply thread this pull onto the screw and the final product will look something like that. 
okay? This is here strictly for decorative purposes, so please don't yank on it to try and bring the shade up and down. It's there just to look pretty. All right, now once you have that in place, I do need you to set the child uh, safety device. The child safety device comes with a plastic piece or holder that's going to get mounted to the w side of the window frame just like you see it. Now the key to this is you have a spring-loaded piece inside the child safety device and that spring-loaded piece uh, gets mounted onto the little uh, nub on the safety device. Now this device has to be adjusted just so. Uh, in this case we have it mounted from a previous shade, so it's just a little bit too low. So I'd like you to, I'd like to show you guys uh, just how this gets mounted. Okay. We're going to set the little nub into the hole of the child safety device. Now this is spring-loaded, as you can see. I want you to pull this as far down so that the line is aligned with the hole in the child safety device. Okay, once you have that hole aligned with those two lines, you know you have the correct tension set. Okay, once the tension is set at that proper place, which it is right here, we're going to drive these two screws back in to the holder, which is right there. One, two. Once you have those set, the last thing in the app in the uh, installation will be to place the little screw into the hole, just like so. Tighten down on that. What that'll do is it'll attach the child safety device to the holder. Once that's done, you can operate your shade freely, and it'll be child safe. You don't have to worry about the children grabbing it and accidentally getting it caught. Okay, so that's the finished product. If you have any additional questions on how to, out, on how to install your roller shade, I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and feel free to give me a call anytime. Thanks for watching.